Hey guys, I've got something pretty amazing to show you here that that I just figured out literally now. Um, you know how I, I normally tell you that you know don't feel bad if you don't you don't you don't remember how to do everything like you don't know every line of code in SQL that kind of thing because you can always just go to Google. Well, I just found something that works way better than Google. Um, this is so like I don't I don't know whether I should be excited or scared. Like this is revolutionary. Anyway, it's this tool called ChatGPT. If you've never heard of it, it's an AI algorithm where you basically it's like a search bar like in Google where you just ask it a question. Or if you remember, they had that Ask Jeeves um, search engine in the past. It's like Ask Jeeves on steroids. It's it's brilliant. So I'm going to give you some examples here. So whenever you need to know something about, well, really anything, <laughs> but here I'm going to talk about data analysis specifically, you can just ask the question in chat GPT and it will give you like the perfect answer every time. So I'm going to give you, um, I'm going to give you some examples. So I'll start with a, with an easier one. So let's say, give me an example of an SQL query with a left join. And voila, it just writes it for us. And so it gives us what we asked for, right? It gives us a um, example of an SQL query with a left join. Um, which is correct. Um, and it tells us exactly how it works, right? And the, this is completely AI generated. This is, this is a robot that's just figuring this out. It's just scouring everything on the internet and finding the perfect response. The, like the English is perfect and the code is perfect, which is just nuts in my opinion. I'm, I'm like amazed with this. So let's give it, let's give it something a little more difficult. Um, this is a question actually that I was trying to figure out myself because the, you know, the, um, if you get to week five, there's that project with the, um, with the, where you're having X, an SQL query that's embedded into Excel and then you're using a macro to change that query. Well, when they switched over to the new version of Excel to Excel 365, they they changed that process how that worked and I had to figure out the new process. They have a thing called Power Query now, which is their new process of doing queries. And so I had to figure out because the the old way that I did it didn't work anymore in the new version of Excel it, with Power Query, and so I had to figure out how to make it work, um, which took me quite a long time. It took me like several hours to figure this out, and so I decided, what if I just ask Chat GPT how to do it? So um, I've, so I'll say, how do I change the SQL? Oops, I change the SQL code in Power Query using VBA. It tells me in super granular, granular detail, right? It doesn't even tell me like just what the code is. They tell me like how to open the, the code editor, how to insert a new module. Then it gives me gives me the first step of the of the code. And by the way, I'm um, this is the second time I've run this, and it's given me a, it's giving me a different answer than last time. Um, but <laughs> the second time I've asked ChatGPT the same question, it's giving me a slightly different answer. But it's telling me exactly what to do, right? In in very simple to follow step by step format, which is just nuts, completely mind blowing for me. And this is something that you know it took me hours to figure this out, and and ChatGPT just figured it out in like thirty seconds. So um, <laughs> this, you, you know, a lot of people are tempted to be scared of this and think, oh no, that means that like the AI is going to steal all our jobs. But the truth is, it's going to make 
those of us who use the AI, it's going to make us so much more powerful because now we have this tool at our fingertips. And so we can, we can do our jobs that much better as a result of it. Um, okay, let's try another one. Let's say, how do I create a Tableau dashboard where if I click one part of a chart, it filters the rest of the dashboard. And notice that my, you know, my English here isn't even really that good. Um, like I click one part. I'm not specifying what part. I'm just saying one part. Um, so I'm, I'm being less specific here, but let's give it a try. Sure enough, tells me I have to use a dashboard action. And it uses very similar English to the English I use to, to, answer, to ask the question. And sure enough, it's giving me exactly the steps that I need, and including like the, the first steps, just in case it's not obvious. Um, and giving me exactly how to do this. I mean, this is kind of one of the more sophisticated things that, that you can do in Tableau. And it just spits it out and, and like, looks like less than a minute here. And <laughs> let me know if you have any questions. That's funny. It's very, very helpful. Um, here's something, something a little different. Where can I find some real business data sets that I can use to practice data analytics. <clears throat> so it gives me Kaggle, that's my first recommendation too. Cool. And notice that I asked about business data sets, and so it specifies including many that are related to business and finance. And then it even specifies your own company's data, right? Like that's exactly what I would say is the best data set to start with if you got it is your own company's data. So um, this is just like a small sample. This are, these are literally the first four questions that I came up with off the top of my head to test this thing. Um, I, just the, the potential of using this tool is just mind blowing. So my recommendation to you is, as you're going through the program, give it a try. Um, and it's, it's called ChatGPT or, or chat.openai.com. Just, just Google it. And, um, you have to sign up for an account. And, but it's free. And like you see, I'm kind of lost for words because my mind is blown. But <laughs> anyway, I thought that was super awesome. So I definitely wanted to share it with you. So um, give it a try and, and see what you come up with. And if you come up with some other cool applications of it, then share it in the group, let us know.